This is going to suck. Hello everybody, welcome back to the back of the Jeep over here. We are in the middle of probably some of the worst weather we've had so far this year and considering the snowfall, that's saying something. And we're doing another lunch break. Yeah, about this one. Um, okay, so you guys know the shtick of this one. You're out in the field, yada, 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 you know all this, and you brown bag it. Well, um, this is a requested one. And I know a lot of people, when you see guys on the internet, and they're just saying, they're, they're, they're doing things that they hate, and they're like, oh, I hate this, and so on, they really don't. I am not looking forward to this. I genuinely am not looking forward to this, but it was a request. It was something that was actually sent to me, so, uh... Yeah, big word right on the top, tuna. Okay, sitting back here, I remember the fun I've already had with salmon and damn near puke because of it. And I can't open up the back of the Jeep over here because the weather is so bad, the wind and the rain is so awful that um, it would just blast the camera off. If I start puking, it's gonna be right in the back here. I might be able to open up that door, that's assuming nobody's driving by me. All right, so typical of the United States military MRE, warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, warfighter approved. So who's the official warfighter? That's the first thing I want to know. Um, now this was obtained legally. Uh, a friend of mine gave this to me, he sent it to me. And there's only one thing that scares me about this one. Something broke in here. And uh, not really sure what. Okay, you know, maybe maybe I should mention this one other thing. I do have uh, do have my own water with this, and I also have one emergency palate cleanser. That's what I'm calling it. That's what it is. Uh, peelable seal. Your resort to the best thing ever created. Don't leave home without it, kids. Always, always, always carry a multi-tool. Always carry a multi-tool. Okay, so what do I got in here? Oh. Oh, that's just lazy. Ah, okay. Secondary box in here. Secondary packaging. So this is completely just useless, except for camouflage, maybe. Check this out. Really? It's store-bought. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, a part of me wants to weasel out of this right now by saying, oh, well, it's store -bought. You know how it tastes. Bye. See ya. We're done. But this is a promise. Product of American Samoa. Dolphin safe. That's always good to know, just in case I get attacked by dolphins. So the usual unboxing. What do I got? Well, when in doubt, start with the dessert. Oatmeal cookie. Pretzel sticks. That explains the rattling. Uh, the usual condiment package. Tortillas. Tortillas! Tootsie Roll. This is the laziest MRE ever. Fat-free mayonnaise. Mm. I felt my stomach just churn. Strawberry Dairy Shake Powder. And this thing is packed almost to the brim full. Oh, uh, yeah, even the idea of having tuna and a dirt and, and a strawberry milkshake. Uh, military spoon, I like that. And of course, the Starkist Abacor tuna. In water. Where do I even begin in this cornucopia of goodness? How about here? Okay, strawberry dairy shake powder. There's no tear. There's no easy to find tear here. So you make one. Rawr. Oh. How many shakes did you get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? We'll find that out a little bit later. There they are on my Tootsie. Tootsie rolls. That smells like strawberry. Mm. Did not mix that nearly enough. Still a little bit of powder in there. But what this tastes like, exactly tastes like, down to sparking childhood memories tastes like, booberry cereal. Actually, a Franken, Franken monster. The Franken monster cereal. It's the exact same fake strawberry taste. Exact same. I, mean, I don't know, does, is Count Chocula even still a thing? 
but they had blueberry, they had Count Chocula, and they had, um, um, they had like a Frankenstein Frankenberry kind of thing. And it's, it's that Frankenberry thing. Exactly. So, second thing, we're going to try to crack open the tortillas. Uh, tortilla shells, I've had experience with these before. Matter of fact, I'm going to do this right now because I know what's going to come out of this package. Um, I had a Canadian MRE. Matter of fact, this was one of the shows that never made it. We had a Canadian MRE that was a um, chicken fajita thing. And um, that one failed as an episode because I did not film it anything I like, got like what I'm doing right now which is kind of like out and about in the in not really I'm not really in the elements right now but it's about as close as I want to get to film comfortably um the one thing I found about those tortillas I felt like that was what you gave to the FNG a bunch of military guys are chuckling everybody else is looking at their screen like what if you really want to know just uh just go ask somebody really but I really got the feeling that it was what you gave the FNG uh, reason is, and this is why I'm cutting this open in this specific way, again, multi-tool, very handy, because the tortillas had this tendency to be broken. Matter of fact, oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is the tortilla pack. Let me hold it by the edge to show you how quality tortillas these are. And, um, yep. Oh yeah. I just opened it up. Literally, just by opening it up, they tear apart. I don't think there's a way that you can... What am I supposed to do? Find a steamer out in the field and do that? Now, I understand why they include the tortillas. It's to have some sort of a bread thing in the meal as well. But, um... You know, actually, I could probably use it this way. But that's also why I sliced this open in this particular way. So now, at least I have some sort of a plate-like thing to keep this on. Pre-planning! Always handy! Always handy! Keep stalling, Tiger. Maybe nobody will notice. Okay, yeah, these are kind of broken up in there. Nothing, nothing you wouldn't expect. And there's a desiccant packet, though. Again, I still want to know who was the guy. Who knows, I might be surprised. I might not be. There's no date on this at all. There's probably a code here that's, uh, that I don't understand. Let's see, uh, the doors are unlocked, so if I need to get out and puke, I can. And let the inevitable begin. Uh, okay, this isn't even tuna chunks, this is paste. This is one big, flat, crumbly tuna paste. <sighs> the smell's gonna get me too. <sighs> Matt, you're a sadist. So we'll take out a chunk, throw it onto there. Part of me thinks I should mix it up and the other part of me is thinking, uh, no. So I have tortilla and tuna. I'm suddenly reminded of, an, of a Bill Cosby routine. If an American has two pieces of bread, they can eat anything. Yeah, it's... I guess it's tuna. I guess it's... Oh, man. Fat-free mayonnaise. That um, has no date on it either, mysteriously. You've heard of mystery meat? Mystery mayo. To be fair, to be fair, it's not as sickening as the, um, as the salmon was. The salmon just hit me in a way that just made me want to puke. Um, this is just making me feel sick in my stomach. So I suppose that's a that's a marked improvement. I said it before, but if I ever found myself trapped on a desert island and there was nothing but coconuts and fish, I'd die. I, I got one more idea. I got one more concept, and that is just directly from here. Um, 
Oh, the, oh, that's a big whiff. Oh, man. Ah, yuck. Ugh. You know, I can't. I can't even do it. No. There's going to be people out there who are going to be tuna fans. People who love tuna. Who are going to be watching this going, Dude, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me is I can't stand fish. I, I can't stand tuna. White fish, I'm okay with. Salmon, if cooked correctly, is okay, I guess. No. Honestly, I feel the same way about uh, sushi, too. Just for the sake of completeness. So we got pretzel sticks. That's a good thing. Tootsie rolls. I feel like there should be a drum roll. I'll, I'll actually be kind of fun. It'll be kind of interesting if there's not Tootsie rolls in here, if it's something like Skittles. Nope. I got two. How many licks does it take to get to the center? One tear. Uh, however, these I'm pocketing for later, which is what I would actually do in the field. And the same thing goes for the uh, the oatmeal cookie. I've had these before, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna revisit that. But this will be held on to. I'll enjoy this later on. And once again, out in the field, I would actually probably try to pocket this and then eat it on the walk. Just saying. Final verdict. Um, I guess if you like tuna, you like it. Um, if you're like me and the thought of eating tuna makes you want to retch, um, pass. In all honesty, if I were out in the field and I uh, came across a situation where I was thrown this MRE, I, I would go out of my way to trade it with anybody for just about anything else. So you're probably saying, where do I get this wonderful goodness? Well, it is an MRE, so these will be available. Um, you can get these on eBay. The legality is questionable. Um, but so far I've yet to have anybody point out exactly where it says that you can't buy these things other than it's saying it's not for commercial resale. Uh, so you can do that. If you know somebody who is on base, they can probably get you one of these things, but this is, in all honesty, in all honesty, you could just get some, uh, Starkist tuna, which is exactly what this is, and just chow down. Save yourself quite a bit of headache. If you really want a tuna MRE, there you go. Actually, you want to make your own tuna MRE, here you go. You go to the, you go to the supermarket, you get yourself some Starkist Abacore tuna, just like that. Uh, you buy some tortilla shells, if you really want the tortilla shells. But, you know, and you have to kind of, you know, let them sit out for a couple days so they get all bad and nasty so that when you fold them, they fall apart. Uh, get yourself some pretzels. Um, you can go raid your kids, uh, or if you are a kid, you can go raid your, your lunch stash for, you know, when you're brown bagging it. Uh, a couple Tootsie Rolls, um, some really bad toilet paper, get yourself a cookie, um, maybe some uh, instant milkshake powder that you would pick up. Um, I know that you can get some milkshake powder in the store for like a couple bucks. Um, they do the, um, it's like a, a morning energy drink or morning, uh, morning milkshake stuff. That's exactly what this tastes like, so you can probably save yourself a little bit of time and just do that. Um, and there you go, instant MRE. The only thing you're missing is the cool brown bag, but um, eh, sacrifices have to be made.